Here's an easy way for teachers and students to create an ebook. And I call it an ebook, but it's actually a PDF file. And that means it's easy to share online. And people can read it on just about any device from phones to tablets to computers. So the way that I do this, it involves two steps. First of all, we're going to create the pages of this ebook in Google Slides and that's really the majority of the work. It can take hours to do that depending on how much information you have in it and how attractive you want it to look as far as graphics and layout. After you have that created in Google Slides, step two is to download it as a PDF ebook and that takes about 10 seconds so that's the easy step. So first of all I'm starting in my Google Drive account. I always start in Google Drive. I'm signed in with my account and I'm going to create a new slideshow so I'll click the new button and I will hover over Google Slides. You can see over here you could create a blank presentation which I usually do or you could do it from a template. If you just want a blank presentation you can click over here. I'm not going to click it because I already started one right here. This is what you'll see if you start a blank slideshow. This is not a presentation about Google Slides, so I won't say a lot about the tools. I'll give you a couple pointers. But the main thing, unless you want all your pages to be this size, like this, you're going to want to know how to change the dimensions of the slides. So you can do that by clicking on File and going to Page Setup. What you want to do here is click this drop down and select Custom. That will let you choose in inches, centimeters, and so on, a dimension for your slides. And these, of course, will be the pages of your ebook. So, usually in class, I would make this 8.5 by 11, like a standard sheet of paper. And then I click OK. So, you can see that changed the dimensions. Now, you will want to zoom in and out on this as you work. So, get used to using the magnifying tool. When I click that, a left click on my mouse lets me zoom in and a right click will zoom out. The select arrow will let me select text boxes, change the size, and move them as you can see. So you'll definitely be using this tool as well, the text box tool. That lets me draw a text box wherever I want it and I can type in it. As soon as I have my cursor blinking in a text box I also have the usual tools you're used to for changing the font, the size, various other attributes of the text. Shapes will probably be very important as you're doing an ebook. You'll want to add various shapes that can be done through the shapes menu. You can see all of these that there are to choose from. Let's just pick this for right now to make a rounded rectangle. And you get tools like the fill color, the border color, the border thickness, and the type of border that you want. And here you can insert images. When I click this you'll notice all the different ways that Google lets you bring in images. I usually use the upload from my computer or I bring them in from Google Drive and sometimes I use this search feature. One other tool that I do use a lot is WordArt. There's not an icon on here for WordArt but if you go to the insert menu you can pick WordArt and I'll show you an example shortly of how that will look. Now to give you an example of what one of these might look like, here's one that I made. This is an ebook for creating comics using G Suite apps. And this is kind of a commercial for that. If you're interested in how to get this ebook from me, you can go to my blog to find out more information. Now you can see on my title page for this ebook, I do have some shapes that I made with the shapes menu. I have text here in a text box and this is an example of the word art. It just gives you more options for how your your text will look. And I did bring in an image as you can see here. I have 33 pages in this ebook and some of them are more complex than others like this one was mostly just text. And then in some cases I had to design pictures. So you can see this is what I meant by it can take hours to make your actual booklet. Whether you have one page or many and how you want your layouts to look, that's going to determine how long this could take. But when you're done, here's how easy that second step is. 
to turn this into a PDF, all you have to do is click on File, hover over Download As, and you'll see right here it says PDF Document. So I'm going to download this as a PDF document. I'll click this. It will ask me where I want to save it. And by default, the name will be exactly what my slideshow was named. So I'll click Save. And you can see it downloads the PDF. When I click this, it will open the PDF. And I can see how it converted. Now I will say, sometimes with these complex documents, the PDF will be slightly different than how it looked back here in your slideshow and that's because the fonts might change a little bit in the size so you do have to check your pages over and make sure everything looks like you want them to. I've had good results with it and I know other people have given free ebooks or even sold them by using this process. If you want to see more tutorials or read more about how to get my ebook you can go to my blog at classroomgamesandtech.blogspot.com it's full of many tips, project ideas, and tutorials related to using technology effectively in the classroom.